For those of you who know me, it will not come as a surprise that I can be considered an extrovert. Not that I am outgoing, which I think I am, or a glib conversationalist or an easy public speaker. Rather, the clinical definition of the word extrovert, which is that I get my validation externally from other people. I have a man cave for 45 years of rally trophies. I relish the reputation I have for my involvement in the rally sport for over 48 years. I seek leadership opportunities because I like the spotlight. I love gold stars. I don't believe any of this comes as a revelation to those who do know me. While extroversion sits at one end of the spectrum, introversion sits at the other. Quite the opposite, introverts are self-validating. They pat themselves on the back and feel emotionally satisfied when they accomplish something. In fact, true introverts actually avoid the spotlight and can really feel uncomfortable being lauded in public. Perhaps it's because they avoid public glorification that they can be categorized sometimes as shy, but that's really a misnomer. That's not really part of the definition. I'm giving you this Psych 101 lesson to explain something that has become quite clear to me what a significant drawback being an extrovert can be. There's a story here. A week ago, I agreed to play nine holes of golf with some friends, but I would have to be about a half hour late. We agreed when I got to the golf course, I could just skip whatever holes I needed to and catch up with my friends. Now, I'm a complete duffer at golf, 30 plus handicap. I break 100 maybe once or twice a year. I arrived at the course and scooted my cart immediately to the first tee, which had a league just about ready to start. So I excused myself past them in an attempt to catch my buddies not knowing which hole we would actually connect at. I found the second hole abandoned, so I decided to play it. For the first time in my life, I parred this hole. Arriving at the third hole, same thing. Nobody there, so I played it. You guessed it, parred again. Only once in my life do I ever remember parring two holes in succession. Fourth hole, again, par. Fifth hole, par three. My friends were just finishing up, having put their tee shots in the dreaded water right in front of the green. I teed off and dropped my ball about 10 feet from the hole, two putted, and parred my fourth hole in a row. I'd never played this consistently in my life. Playing the last four holes with my friends, I, I parred one more and I double bogeyed the rest. But here's the data, the aha in this. When I played by myself with no one along to validate or invalidate my golf acuity, I removed all that extrovert pressure to perform for someone else's praise. I'm essentially a self-induced introvert, and it works. I never considered extroversion a drawback, but when underperforming in front of three other golfers upsets me, it's pretty clear I'm not at my best, and even making progress is impeded. I think you introverts have an advantage. Quite an epiphany. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.